Hi guys and welcome to another Bootstrap 4 with the Brackets text editor video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. In our last video we added these buttons here. What I want to do in this video is add our own hover effect. At the moment we've got a hover effect but let's add a different hover effect. What I'd like to do is perhaps have this as an outline and have a transparent background color change the actual text color to our button color maybe even give it some drop shadow so let's go ahead and do that let's open our brackets text editor for those of you that have not been following along brackets is a great text editor it's free to download and use and you can download it from a link below this video and we're working on our custom css file again for those that haven't seen the earlier videos. Here's our folder with our website files in it. Inside our CSS folder is our custom CSS file that we created. That's what we're working on at the moment. Just right click and open it with your brackets or whatever your text editor is you're using. So here's our button that we created last time. And what we want to do is create a hover effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the actual code that we wrote for the button there. Drop down a couple. Now just after it, I'm going to put a colon. And this is very important. You want to write the word hover, but there's no space. Important, no space. Repeat after me, no space. Colon, no space, word hover. If you put a space in there, it will not work. Okay, and what do we want it to do? If we look back at the site, at the moment it is doing something, but I want it to do something different. I want it to have a transparent background. I want this to be our button blue color, the actual font itself. And I want to have a border with that same color as well. So let's do that. So you want background color, say transparent. Padding, we're gonna leave the same. We're not gonna change that. So we can actually delete that line. Anything that we don't change, we can delete. All right, so I want it to have a border. Drop down one. And I want it to be, say, two pixels. I want it to be solid rather than dashed or striped or any other type. And I want it to be that same color as we use for the background color there. So let's just copy that. What else do we want it to do? We want it to have the actual font color, which will just be color. We want to change that from white as it is now to our same color. So let's paste that color back in there as well. Now I'm going to put a border attribute up there in a minute and I'll show you why. Let's just save this to see what we've got so far back to our site and refresh now when we hover over it see we've got a transparent background our text color has changed and we've now got a border that's fine just exactly what we wanted there and it should do exactly the same with these buttons what I'm going to do is there's a, can you see it's growing slightly as I do that? And that's because we've added this border on the hover. So it's making it look like it's actually growing. To stop that happening, because what it'll do, anything below it, we haven't got anything below there at the moment, it will push it down by four pixels because we've got two pixels top, two pixels bottom. In fact, we could probably make that a little larger. Let's just... make it three pixels let's go back and as I was saying let's copy this border attribute 
and add it to this one, which is our which is our regular button, and the color we'll just put in transparent. This way it's got the space reserved for this border that we've put in on hover. Save that. Let's make that three pixels and just see what it's like. Save that. Control S and back to our site. Refresh. There we go. I think that three pixels is fine. Still growing a bit. We didn't change that attribute to three on the original, I don't think. So let's go back. Yeah. Change that to three there. Control S to save. Refresh. That's exactly what we want right there. Now what happens when we click on it? Looks like it's turning to our old color there. Let's inspect it again. There's our button. If we go up to our hov over here, Let's select active. Yep. What about focus? That's all right. And visited. What about visited? That visited's fine. It's doing the same. But active, it's still giving it that old attribute there. Let's take those off. very simple fix. Just copy this. We could probably just add the active class to it, but this is a real simple fix right here. And we want to write active in there. No space. Remember, no space. Now, on the active, hover, it'll do the same as I just hover hover right there. Control save back to the site. Close our inspector. Refresh. Let's try that again. Okay, still flash that dark blue color there. That's not what we want. So we need to add important to this. So it's exclamation. important that should override those styles there you don't really want to use this unless you have to but i believe we have to use it here so let's just paste those in there save back to the site refresh that's better it's no longer got that dark blue there okay Now, do we want to take it any further? Do you want to add some, we can add some box shadow or whatever you want to add to it. So let's, let's give it a box shadow. If anybody interested in CSS, take one of our, uh, say five bits. Actually, I don't want this on the info box, but let's just paste it um, uh, let's give it say that color maybe too light yeah it's a little light let's give it a four, four, four. that'll probably work and we don't want to place it there I actually want to place it to cut control X I want to put that on the hover state and the active state as well I 
and save that and refresh that should give it a shadow when we hover over it too there you go you see it's got a little box shadow over there that's maybe overkill I'm gonna take that away Yeah, I think that's overkill actually, but it's just an, another example of things that you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and take that away again. And for those of you that don't know much about CSS and shadow effects and what have you, have a look at one of our CSS videos. We've got some simple CSS videos out there on YouTube explaining various CSS effects. So let's save that back how it was, go back to our site. There we go. Oh, that's the effect that I wanted to achieve there. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development we have some great courses below with some fantastic discounts for our YouTube subscribers there's also some great free courses down there once again this has been Jamie from system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day